The Christmas season is approaching and I couldn't be more excited. So in honor of it, I'm gonna talk about the top 10 most expensive cities to travel to on Christmas. I'm Rose Michaela, and make sure to subscribe because it really helps us out, but now let's get started. Number 10, the Maldives. Made up of dozens of islands, the Maldives is a popular destination for wealthy vacationers. Perfect for a beach getaway, the Maldives offers breathtaking views of palm trees, white sand beaches, and blue waters. The rich enjoy staying at hotels and resorts such as the Waldorf Astoria Maldives, Ithafushi, and Vala Private Island. The Waldorf of Astoria, Maldives, Ithafushi offers luxury villas situated over the water. The wealthy enjoy the privacy of their own villa with a pool and opulent accommodations. Villa Private Island offers personal butlers, a spa, personal chefs, and the ability to book the entire island for the ultimate private vacation. Villa Private Island boasts luxurious villas with top-notch amenities and breathtaking views that allow you to take a step away from your busy life and enjoy the privacy and tranquility of the island. The Maldives offers more than just luxury hotels, however. Enjoy a snorkel trip around the island or book a spa day at one of the many spas. You can also go water flying, parasailing, diving, and fishing. Beautiful waters around the islands offer beautiful marine life that you'll only see on one of these trips. Number 9, Fiji Islands. With its 332 islands of pristine white sands, dotted with palm trees swaying to the tune of a tropical breeze, you'd be forgiven thing that you found heaven on earth. Any notion of this, however, is sure to be evaporated into thin air when presented with the bill for hopping to and from the islands. Boat rides to the Mamanuka and Yasawa Islands are famously pricey. On top of this, Fiji villagers require visitors to participate in a gift-giving ceremony before entering. This is usually kava, a drink made from a native plant called Piper Mathisticum. If you fancy staying on the island of Laukawa, you are welcome with the country's traditional greeting of bula and a landing fee of $18,000. Yikes. Number eight, Brooklyn, New York. First, I wanna start off by saying that I totally wore this sweater on purpose. Not really, but a fun coincidence nonetheless. Anyway, moving on. Technically, Brooklyn is one of the five boroughs that make up New York City, but in the past 15 years or so, it has emerged as something of a metropolitan onto itself. Indeed, if Brooklyn were an independent city, its population would be on par with Chicago, the third largest city in the nation. Once upon a time, Brooklyn was considered a viable alternative for those who couldn't afford to live in Manhattan. Not anymore, though. Housing-related expenses, including rents and mortgages, are almost four times higher than the national average. And yet, the median household income in Brooklyn is actually lower than U.S. median. It's also $25,000 below the median household income in Manhattan. Happily, not everything in Brooklyn is eye-wateringly expensive. Utilities run about 7% higher than the national average, and healthcare is only about 4% more expensive. Groceries, utilities, and transportation expenses are, are all about 11% more than what the typical American pays. So it's safe to say that if you were to try and live off your home alone dreams by going to New York for a Christmas holiday, you'll for sure be broke. Number seven, Paris, France. Paris might be the best place to spend Christmas this year. You'll enjoy the festive season in Paris as many department stores offer discounts, most markets are filled with exceptional products, and the lights are everywhere. You'll see the Eiffel Tower in its full beauty, and this is something to remember for your whole life. Entertainment, great shows, and attractions are an essential part of the Paris offerings during Christmas. You can wine and dine in the best restaurants, or you can simply enjoy the delicious mulled wine on the streets. That will make you refreshed and ready for the New Year's challenges. But just remember to make sure that you're ready to have your pockets emptied in a matter of hours when traveling here. Number six, Aspen in Colorado. Aspen is a favorite winter getaway for celebrities. This winter destination is one of the rare North American ski resorts with an interesting history. It was initially founded as a mining camp during the Colorado Silver Boom, but it looks as classy and shiny as ever. Aspen is an isolated getaway with a small airport for only private planes. The ski playground welcomed Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom in 2016 and Rihanna in 2014. The queen of Christmas, Mariah Carey also regularly enjoys this as her beloved holiday getaway location. Number five, Cancun, Mexico. If you don't enjoy snow, then what better way to spend the holidays than soaking up the sun on a beautiful beach, right? Well, despite being in a relatively inexpensive country to visit and reside in, Cancun is remarkably more costly than the rest of Mexico because of its height. White sand beaches, turquoise waters, a coastline studded with world-class luxury resorts, and tons of ancient tourist attractions, like the Mayan ruins, ritual sites, lush jungles, and more. That being said, backpackers and hostel hoppers do not tend to hop in Cancun, as a lot of their businesses are built around resort life and a night following the resort life, including hotel, dinner, cocktails, and taxi can get pretty expensive. Number four, London, England. Now London might not rule the world anymore, but it's still one very expensive city. The pound is nearly double the rate of the US dollar. If you don't look at the currency symbol next to the numbers, it might seem cheap, but it's not. The London Olympics added more to London's infrastructure and drew international attention. And of course, there will never not be tours flooding into the the Tower of London or Abbey Road Studios. Invariably,
repeatedly seeking the ghosts of John Lennon. That being said, transportation and hotels are a huge cost for visitors. Number three, Cannes, France. As part of the French Riviera, Cannes is a popular vacation destination for its signature film festival and stunning views, hotels, and scrumptious food. Wealthy vacationers stay in luxurious hotels such as the exclusive Hotel Belle, Plague, for $428 per night. This hotel offers beach access to one of the best beaches in Cannes, expansive views, and relaxing rooms. Other hotel options include the Grand Hotel, just minutes from where the Cannes Film Festival is held. Cannes isn't just about the luxurious hotel options, however. You can shop until you drop at the designer stores, enjoy a five-star meal at Cannes' best restaurants, or go on a boating day trip to adventure through the wooded islets along the coast. The shopping combined with five-star restaurants and exquisite views make Cannes a popular vacation destination for the rich and famous. Number two, Dubai. Dubai is considered one of the top playgrounds for the rich with its luxe hotels, Michelin star restaurants, and exciting nightlife. If you're planning a trip to Dubai, prepare to spend quite a bit of money. One of the most expensive hotels is over $1,000 per night. The Burj Al Arab offers a luxurious spa, nine restaurants, a private beach, and exquisite rooms. If the spa, restaurants, and private beach aren't your thing though, you could go on a luxury desert safari, a yacht cruise, or a balloon ride over the city. Plane tickets to Dubai aren't overly expensive also but prepare to spend big bucks once you get there. The opulent hotels and activities are why this place is considered a playground for the wealthy. The safaris that they have there include a tour of the dunes in a Mercedes G-Wagon. Also, expect grand pianos playing with an opera singer on top of a dune. Not only that, but you can get an orchestra for dinner around a desert oasis lake. And your choice of supercars for the ride back to your hotel. Number one, Antarctica. Can you imagine traveling to Antarctica? It's a desolate place and you wonder why anyone would ever go there. But I guess for the holidays, it's kind of fitting. The world's wealthy people are starting to flock to Antarctica abroad luxury cruise ships and expedition vessels such as the Magellan Explorer. As the name suggests, it came from the famous explorer Ferdinand Magellan. The Magellan Explorer features lux rooms and technology advanced equipment to make the most out of your trip. The ship has rooms for 100 passengers, an indoor and outdoor observation deck, and a hall for educational purposes. An 11 to 13 day cruise will set you back almost $8,000 per person. This option includes wildlife viewing, shore landings, visits to base camps, and stunning views of waterways, glaciers, and icebergs. Other options include a 12 to 13 day Spirit of Antarctica expedition for over $12,000 per person, including polar snorkeling, skiing, snowboarding, gorgeous views of wildlife, icebergs, glaciers, and more. The last option is $8,050 per person and features activities for adventurous people such as skiing, hiking, camping, photography sessions, and more. Enjoy a trip aboard the Magellan Explorer while viewing some of the most remote places on Earth. But that is all and thanks for watching.